Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Now oil prices have uh, touched 90 US dollars per barrel. This is the highest price since November of last year. Over the last few months, Sri Lankan consumers have gotten used to lower prices due to lower global oil prices. Now, on 1st September, they were in for a shock as domestic prices were revised upward. Now, why are oil prices rising? Will the trend continue and how will it impact the Sri Lankan economy? Let's get some uh, data on this. Joining me now from the data board is economist Imran mm. Furkan. Good to see you once again, Imran. Thank you for joining me this week as well. More bad news for the economy? Uh, depends. It depends. Uh, globally, oil prices have been going up. Um, you know, it, they were low in the last few months and begin to go up. Um, they are at uh, the ranges they were in November last year, but they could go higher, right? And uh, the reason why it's been going up is because uh, OPEC Plus, that is mm -hmm. uh, OPEC and, and Russia, have decided to keep their, um, you know, um, voluntary cuts of production going for the next few months as well. And in addition to that, there is recovery in, in the U.S. economy. It's quite strong. Mm -hmm. Um, and therefore, I think uh, prices will keep uh, rising or stay at higher elevated level for a while to come. And uh, uh, what else? Like, uh, do you expect the prices here in Sri Lanka to spike as well? Because uh, I think we are getting to the same rate uh, as we were in last year around this time. Absolutely. Um, if you look at the, if you look at the uh, prices last year, right? Um, in the middle of the year, when oil prices were low, uh, let us just take uh, diesel at 310 or you know um, octane 92 at 318. Um, this was in around uh, middle of the year, but now it's gone up to 361 for for uh, 92 octane and and for diesel it's 341. Um, it's very clear that when you go back to the charts, um, basically it mirrors what's happening uh, in the glo global crude oil market. So lower here, going up now it could be even much higher than mm. this, um, you know, going forward. And uh, what exactly is, is the projection uh, in terms of the economy? Uh, do you still think we will be having, you know, uh, good times ahead? Because apparently, like we talked about last week, the government is very, very, very confident that we are on the right track. The IMF people are coming back here. So, w w what do you think would well, happen? Um, if you look at um, if you look at the components of our imports, right? Uh, so, fuel, um, which is in the light blue, is, is a significant component, uh, right? And has continued to be, and 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 ha actually were higher in May, now a lot less. Um, and also, there are intermediate goods, which are you know made from crude oil as well. So, the price of crude and its impact is very big on the economy. Uh, and also fuel uh, for electricity generation as well, it's, it's quite high as well. So I think we've the, the CEB has asked for another uh, increase in, in uh, electricity tariffs. So I think if oil prices keep uh, remaining high, I think that we have to start planning for this uh, in terms of the economy. And I think the good times uh, in terms of low oil prices are gone for a while, unless there is going to be a massive um, recession in the US, they I think might actually for uh, prices. could return if the Ukraine war comes to an end. Uh, well, th that depends on, on how Russia and others uh, um, yeah. you know, react, because one of the things that people are not noticing is that Saudi, um, Russia, they are beginning to keep uh, oil prices high by cutting production, because they realize this is their prime product, right? And they don't want uh, to lower the price of this product at any cost. So I, I believe that even if the war ends, these countries will keep prices high. Everyone wants to make a buck, Imran. <laughs> All right, we have to leave it at that. Uh, economist Imran Farrakhan at the data board. Thank you very much. Well, as you know, our entire program tonight was very much focused on the mockumentary of Channel 4. And as we are running out of time, we have to cut our other segments on health, the brain drain uh, factor, and other social issues from this week. We will surely bring them to you next week. My sincere apologies to our guests who couldn't, uh, who we couldn't get on the air.